Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's Kita from At Home with Kita. Today we are doing a plan with me for next week. We're going to decorate the spread and I may even try to see if I want to write in some plans for this week because I haven't quite done that yet. And so that's what we're doing in this video. But first, if you're new to my channel, I hope you'll stick around and consider subscribing and also give me a thumbs up if you enjoy this video. So let's jump in and plan for the week. If you want to see that, make sure to keep watching. So let's go ahead and open up and I'll show you this week. And I was telling you guys I haven't really written in any plans this week. Normally I do that on Sunday. So maybe we'll do some of that today as well. And so this is how everything turned out. I did do a plan with me or a decorate with me on my channel. And so this is how kind of everything turned out. And these are some of the things that I throw in the spread every week that I want to track. I am starting to track intentions now. I'm going to have a scripture of the week, a word of the week, and a quality that I want to work on every week. So I'm going to do that by just sticking it on a little sticky note. And so I've got a lot, it, it appears like I have a lot going on here. I haven't even written anything in yet. Y'all, I've been such a slacker. I haven't even done my grocery shopping for the week. So I've got to write in my list there. So this whole spread really needs to be, you know, written in and then I need to execute these things. So that's how this looks. So pretty. So we're gonna go ahead and move forward with this week's. So y'all, it's been probably about a year since I picked up anything Happy Planner. And so if you saw on my Instagram, I went out and picked up two sticker books, these two, Modern Farmhouse and Sophisticated Florals. And I did already use one of these in my business and social media planner. Um, so I thought I would probably use, I think I'm gonna use this one because I think I used this one in that um, business and social media planner. So maybe we'll use this one this week. And then I also have, y'all already know, this is going to be used a lot. So functional pastels, and these are going to pair very well together. I also have my planning toolkit here. So let's get going and decorate this spread. And then we'll see if after we decorate it, if I feel like doing some writing in of my other spread, I will share that with you guys as well. Because sometimes I go over my, my time in terms of the decoration part. And then I'm like, okay, we'll, we'll write it. We'll do a whole dedicated video writing it in another time. And then I never do it. So that's life, right? But these are so pretty. I didn't do a flip through on my channel because I feel like this is older. You guys have probably already seen this. You don't necessarily need me to do a flip through, but it's really pretty and I love the colors. I love the rose gold and, and so I'm excited to use it. All right, so let's see how I wanna structure this thing. I don't want it to do, I like this box. And then grab some of the these circles or ovals or whatever shape this is and layer it if I put that here y'all are gonna hear lawn people outside so they always seem to start when I'm filming Just want to hide a little bit of that the end all right and then maybe we'll do a couple of circles here and this section is where I track family outings and things I want to do as a family just in case you were wondering. I think you guys pretty much know how I use this planner at this point. I love all these florals and how they're neutral. They're so pretty. I 
I love these scissors. They're my favorite. So easy to transport because they're foldable. All right. Uh oh, let's not do what we did last time, right? All right. And of course, we want to use this piece. And I think I'm going to go back to the vertical line layout next month. I'm still deciding, but I love the vertical line layout and I love this layout. So I try to go back and forth between the two. I like a vertical line because I feel like you can make it into like a checklist and um, you can use it like as a, just a, a list format. And this is great because you can use this page to just jot it all in. And then this page is more for like appointments. And so they both work. All right. So let's grab some of these today. And let's put them. I love these little new little checklists as well. They're interesting looking. So I don't know, do I want to use one of these? They're very interesting, right? Check in, important reflect today. These are really cute. Let's see. I love that rose gold in there too. just so gorgeous and they come in all different colors so this is like a gray then they have like a peachy color and then black ombre sort of effect. All right, it's looking good so far. There's a good mixture too in here of clear stickers and matte stickers. That's pretty awesome. And these have like little specklies in them. You may not be able to see that on camera, but. And they're there and it's really cute. All right, I mean, it's looking like it's probably gonna be pretty simple this week in terms of my decoration. You can catch it sometimes. Sometimes you can't.
These are cute. I like these a lot too, these little list stickers. I'm just not sure where they would fit in here. I kind of just want some bullet points. Okay, since I want bullet points, I know where to go for those. done go back through here again see if I can grab something peach I'm gonna get some peach over here and then I'm gonna call it a day. And maybe we can do this little list over here. Let's see how this would look. That could work. Let's add this peach here. piece right here that I can add somewhere over here. All right, that looks really good. I love that. And I'm thinking, about adding a couple more dots or something. I love these little corner stickers. Put one there. I didn't get it completely lined up the way I wanted it, but I'm okay with it. That looks good. I feel like I wanna add one more floral here to the top.
All right, I think we're done. So it looks really pretty. I love the color scheme of that sticker book. That's like my jam. You guys know I love soft colors, grays, sometimes a pop of black. So that sticker book really works. So I could see myself using that a lot. So this right here, I'm just gonna put menu right here. I'm gonna write right over the sticker and I jot in the menu plan here. And then everything else is pretty much used how you guys know I use this. So I love the dashboard layout, but again, I'm gonna be transitioning to vertical line for next month, I'm thinking, because I just love them both and I like to, rotate back and forth between the two and this was kind of similar to what i did last week so you guys know this is just my color scheme so let's see about writing in some plans for this week i can't believe april is almost done it's kind of crazy all right so let's move my stuff to the side all right so what i typically do when it comes to writing in plans as I look at the previous week to see if I need to transition anything over from the week and then I'll look at my at a glance and write in any any um, events or anything like that that are coming up and then I'll just you know if there's anything else I need to write in I'll do that as well so let's do that first so let's go to the at a glance and let's look what we have going on also these are new by the way these are so cute they come in frosted and clear they're page markers I don't think you can fully see it because it's so crystal clear but they're so awesome so i have that right here so i can easily get to where we are in the at a glance all right so let's see what we can go ahead and start writing in again by looking at the at a glance i do have new page markers in the shop these are so cute they're crystal clear so you can barely see them but uh, they're great for holding your spot so that's why i put in uh, where we are for the at a glance so it can get me to where i need to be quicker so when i look at april for this week, my sister's having something at the house with just family on the 24th. So that looks to be the only thing that I have going on when I look at the at a glance. So let's write that in. And it's gonna be a barbecue. She said she's doing it 90s themed. So I'll write that in. And it's just my siblings. Okay, and then we can go back and look and see what I didn't accomplish from the previous week and what I need to do for this week. So standard stuff, Monday is always Addison's Bible study. That's all we pretty much do on Mondays. And let's see. All right, our meetings are Tuesdays on Zoom at 7.30. Wednesdays, oh, also, I try to write a note to wash our masks every Wednesday. Sometimes I for, can forget. Okay, then Wednesday, we try to do the library. Because Addison loves the library. And then I have my shop meeting with my assistant, Kina. All right, and then Thursday, Addison has Kumon tutoring at four. And then we try to take the dogs to the dog park. And then we have our family worship. Well, actually, we used to have it on Thursdays, but this week we tried it on Saturdays. But I know since I'm going to my sister's on Saturday, we might not be able to do the family worship on Saturday. 
but I'm going to put it on Thursday and I'm going to put it on Saturday just in case because Thursday hasn't quite been working out as well. Um, and so we said, let's try to do it on Saturday and maybe Saturday will work better for us since we're already in the ministry after the ministry, just, um, sit down and do our family worship. So I'm going to put that here on Saturday as well. Just got to figure out where I want to put it. Okay. And then Friday, we try to do family game night. If, if we can. If Malachi is not working and everybody's all available, um, that's when we do that. And then Sunday is our Zoom, our other Zoom meeting at 10 a.m. I'm also doing an organization challenge and I'm typically doing the, all of that stuff in one day on Sunday. And that's from a, a bowl full of lemons. Room one was the laundry room. I'm going to be filming that stuff and posting it here on YouTube for you guys to see. And so um, even though you're supposed to do it over the course of the week, I just don't have time to do it over the course of the week. So I just do it on, on Sunday and that works for me. Unless it's a super big project. Now laundry wasn't as big of a project, but I know like kitchen will be and like certain other things will be. So I may have to spread that out eventually. And then I do my grocery shopping on Sunday. And I do laundry. And then I do my planning. All right, so that's typically how my week looks in terms of like appointments and things like that. Make sure I'm not forgetting anything. And then I do my menu up here on the top. So I don't need to write menu. You guys know that already. And so that's it for this side of the spread. And then on this side, I'm pretty much done. I transitioned everything over that I, I needed to. Oh, I need to. Still in the market for a dishwasher, y'all. So. I'll keep that there and a fridge. But dishwasher is more urgent than fridge. All right, and I transitioned everything from the to-do list over here. This is my ministry schedule and, and um, just the theocratic Bible studies sort of schedule here on the left. And then I'm just looking over here to see if I forgot anything. I didn't forget anything. I think we're good to go. Yep, and then I told you guys I wanna do intentions and then I have to do my grocery list. I'll probably do that later today and then order groceries for delivery tomorrow. Um, I keep Addison's lunch ideas here because we're full on school, um, not school lunches, but full on packing her lunch. Every now and then I'll let her do school lunch, but we are packing lunches y'all and so I'd like to keep just a little list of ideas over there. So everything's good. I'm glad I did this on camera because I was gonna do this later. I, sh was, I started to do it last night and then, I don't know, I got tired or something. I didn't really feel like doing it. And so I said, I'll just push it to today. But it always works best when I do it on a Sunday so I can wake up the next day and I know exactly what I need to do. So let's go ahead and write in our habits. You guys know I've been using these pages and just kind of sticking them in the planner so that way I can track my habits. So. There, make bed, daily text, laundry, vitamins, journal, meditate, Bible reading, 20 minutes of quiet time, workout, water, podcast, Audible, or Kindle. If you saw my stories on Instagram, you know I just got a Kindle paper like, I think. And my husband and I have been trying to, you know, designate 20 minutes a day. That's what this is. Um, that 20 minute um, quiet time is to read and just kind of take something in, unplug and shut off. And, um, and so that's been working pretty well for us. Um, then social post, meeting prep, lunch, layout clothes for Addison, chores and skincare. So those are my habits. As you can see, last week wasn't that good in terms of just tracking it because sometimes I am doing these things. I'm just not checking them off. So let's go ahead and write everything in.
All right. And so what I do is I take this and I just slide it in right here. Sometimes I'll even do a menu plan. These are note, um, notepads, by the way. So sometimes I'll even do this, a menu plan, and I'll stick that in there as, along as well. But now I'm gonna be back into my fitness planner. And so there'll be a full fitness planner in that section. And so I don't feel the need to write it in here and there. I could just put the dinners here. Uh, so that's it. I have my daily chore cards down here at the bottom. I love these daily chore cards. Um, and then I have my just quick reminders here, vitamins, affirmations, workout water. And then I'm gonna be writing in my scripture, word and quality for this week. And I'm gonna work on that. I'm also gonna write it on the fridge so the kids can see it, the family can get involved and we can all kind of do this together. And I just have to do my grocery shopping and that's pretty much it. So that's how I would write in my week. My weeks are pretty much standard from week to week. The only thing that really varies is this right here um, in terms of my to-do list and what I wanna buy and th things that we're gonna do as a family. That's really the only thing that changes. And then, you know, sometimes appointments as well. Um, I think also I need to write in Hope House. I'm doing a donation on the 21st and I wanna make sure I put the stuff outside, just some clothing items. And I don't wanna forget that. And then the quality I'm working on this week is humility. I think that's a quality that we should all continue to try to work towards cultivating. And so I am going to just focus on that this week. Not that I'm not humble, but of course we could all use a little bit more humility, right? And so I'm gonna write it here every single week and then on my intention page as well. I think I may create some cards for the shop for this. So let me know if that's something you wanna see and I'll create that. And that way we can all be working on our intentions and make sure that we're working on ourselves, which is what everybody wants to do. And that's what we all should be doing on a constant basis is figuring out how we can improve ourselves. So that is it for the plan with me, you guys. This is how everything turned out. Really pretty, simple, elegant. Love that sticker book. Hopefully you enjoyed this plan with me slash write in my plans. You got a little inspiration and you maybe found something that you want to use in your planner, which means you'll give me a thumbs up in this video. You'll also consider subscribing to my channel and you'll come back by and you'll catch another video, in which case I'll see you guys then.